Staffing and supply shortages are hitting retail. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee and let's look at this article from the ABC discussing, well, staffing and supply shortages affecting Christmas shopping in Perth. Because we've been talking about the shipping issues happening all over the world and, well, staffing as well. Let's have a look at this. Perth Christmas shopping impacted by supply chain bottlenecks and staff shortages. Perth bike shop owner Wayne Evans likened himself to a bear when explaining the importance of the Christmas and summer retail period. A bear fattens up during the good times so we can get through winter at the end of the day. You need to make some fat when you can, he said. Well, that, that's, uh, uh, that's one advantage. You know, we all talk about having emergency saving funds and, and th- you know, that's what some people don't realize the fat stored on your body is. We've got fat all over under our skin. That's our emergency fund, guys. So if you, you know, saving a bit of money, just save on groceries and dip into that emergency fund. I don't know why the ABC never suggests that to all the people complaining about not having enough money in their articles. I don't get it. You know, don't eat, you fat bastard. Stop complaining about not having money. But anyway, maybe that's not politically correct. Uh, a bear fattens up during the... Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm going completely off, off topic again. And I can only say that because I've got my own fat stores. So, but for the second year in a row, supply chain issues caused by disruptions to sea and air freight have had a huge impact on Mr. Evans' business. He is selling bikes as fast as he can stock them but there simply aren't enough arriving from overseas to meet demand. Cargo ships are not coming here as readily as we'd like them to, or not, they're not sailing at all in some cases, he explained. With customers facing a wait of up to 12 months for products, it's the worst situation Mr. Evans has seen in his 18 years of business. I had a lady drive up from Yalingup the other day and another one from Denmark because they can't get bikes anywhere, he said. So supply and staff shortages continue to bite. The latest business confidence survey by the Chamber of Commerce and Industry WA has found supply chain issues and staff shortages are among the biggest challenges faced by businesses. Supply chain problems led to rising costs for 63% of businesses in the December quarter, many of which are struggling to deliver products to customers on time. The problem has also prompted concerns around employees' mental health, lost sales and reputational damage. Another issue is skills shortages, with almost 80% of businesses struggling to find enough workers. Despite the challenges, CCIWA says business confidence is slightly higher than last quarter. The sentiment is being partly driven by rising vaccination rates, low interest rates, robust household spending, and the imminent opening of WA's borders. We've got a real strong economy here on the back of global commodity markets, housing, construction, and a real strong household sector. So businesses have a lot of opti- uh, have a, a lot to be optimistic about going into 2022, the CCIWA chief economist Aaron Maury said. The resources sector enjoys the brightest outlook with 73% of businesses anticipating stronger economic conditions over the next three months. Those working in the construction, manufacturing and food services industries are also feeling positive. Mr. Maury said, while it is hoped staff shortages will ease when WA's borders open, disruptions to sea freight is expected to continue into 2022. Mr. Evans, who owns Sarcomania in, northern, in North Perth, said this uncertainty is part of the problem, joking that his hair has greyed rapidly over the past 18 months. Historically, if there was a tsunami or a global crisis, you knew there was a point when the problem would be resolved, he said. We're going... We've been going for well over a year with these issues, and it could continue for another year, so there's no end game. How does that make you feel as a retailer? It's not pleasant, because you're trying to employ staff, pay the rent, and pay the mortgage. It's not a question of whether people have got money to spend. It's where you can spend it and what you can buy. Now, that's that's interesting, isn't it? That's showing you there's still enough consumer confidence out there for people to go spend and to go shopping. They're just not all the goods are there available for them. We can all be positive, but we need supply of products. Mr. Evans said solutions needed to be founded, found to capitalize on strong business and consumer confidence. Shoppers flocked to Perth CBD ahead of Christmas. Just three days left until Christmas, Perth's CBD is packed with shoppers. Um, Miller, Rahman, and Lucky Bywater are laden with shopping bags. Crap, I haven't done my Christmas shopping. Oh, oh I've, I've got a wife. I've got... <laughs> And my, let me know in the chat, guys, if I'm the only one that 
I mean, Rachel gets shitty because Christmas, for me, Christmas just appears and I rock up and, and visit family and relax, you know, and, and I kind of leave everything in her hands. And she's going, what did you do before I was around? And I said, well, I didn't really do Christmas, <laughs> you know, as a single male. But anyway, let, let me know if I'm the only one that kind of uh, delegates Christmas to the, to the missus, you know. Come on, come on, blokes, please. Uh, please let me know. I, I'm not, not alone there. I've got shoes, T-shirts, makeups for the girls, but we're not done yet. We've still got to buy presents for the dogs. Okay, I, I might, I might head to the Kmart and buy the kids a few extra little presents. Yeah, mother and daughter Jade and Evan, uh, Ev- Evan, um, Howgate came to the city for shopping and lunch. I'm buying more this year because I started a full-time job, so more for myself and hopefully other people as well. Perth's crowded malls and lack of face masks is a stark reminder that WA's COVID-19 situation is vastly different from, to the eastern states, but even the bright decorations and carols can't keep it off shoppers' minds. I'm very privileged because my three children are here, but I have a lot of empathy for families that don't have that, Evian said. Two years is a long time, and being locked out for the whole country is a tough call when your, your special people are not here. The countdown to open borders is also on the minds of business owners, with 46% of those surveyed by the CCI expressing concerns around an uncontrolled outbreak of COVID-19 in WA, a slight drop compared to last quarter. So clarity needed around the WA reopening. This is the thing. They Will WA overreact because they're not used to being free, being open, or they're not used to really having covid spikes they'll probably you know what will happen if they open and they'll get the omicron and then that may be may work out well if it doesn't have the impact on the health system as the other variants while it may be easy to recruit staff especially in retail and hospitality it's also unclear how businesses will deal with staff being forced to isolate in the event of an outbreak we still need a little bit more clarity around what will happen in terms of testing and isolation procedures when there are outbreaks in wa mr maury said for example, if someone at a workplace contracts COVID-19, what does that mean for everyone else in that office? As we get closer to that reopening date, it's really important that the business community gets that clarity so we can plan accordingly. The WA government is watching the eastern states to see how the Omicron variant plays out before setting up its own protocols. In the meantime, local businesses are doing what they can to keep the wheels turning this Christmas. So there we go, guys. Supply shortages, consumer confidence, businesses struggling, struggling to get the products they need. Well, check out this last video about just shipping costs, how high they are getting everyone and how much of an impact that's happening. I mean, in some ways, this is good. This isn't businesses with stuff they can't get rid of. This is businesses not being able to get enough product to sell. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.